Let's start. The project name is Recycler View Single Item Selection. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main dot XML, which is the layout of the main activity. And a row underscore item dot XML file, which defines the layout of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. Here we have the recycler view. The height and width of the recycler view match the parent. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the recycler view. In the row underscore item dot XML file, we have a text view. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the text view. Let's see the Java code now. This is the model class with a string variable name as the data member. This name variable will be shown in each row of the recycler view. These are the imports. This is my adapter class. These are the data members, which contain an array list of the model class type. By default, we have not selected any item yet, so we keep the item position to minus one for now. This variable stores the position of the item, which is selected by the user. This is the constructor. In the onCreateViewHolder function, we inflate the row underscore item dot XML file and pass that view into the view holder class. In the bind view holder function, we fetch the data from the model class, one by one, and show it in the text view. Then if an item is selected by the user, we highlight it in gray color, and we simultaneously unselect the previously selected item. In the get item count function, we calculate the total number of rows in the recycler view. This is the view holder class. These are the data members of the class. In the constructor, we set the onClick listener of the row. So when a row of the recycler view is clicked, we call the set single selection function. In this function, we notify the recycler view that a new item has been selected by the user, so unselect the old item and select the new one. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array list of the model class type and an array of strings, which we will use to fill the recycler view data. In the get data function, we fetch the data from the array and put it inside the array list as a recycler view needs the data in array list format. In the onCreate function, we have created an object of my adapter class and pass the array list data in it using the get data function. Then we set the layout of the recycler view as linear. There are several types such as linear, horizontal, staggered, etc. Then we set the item animator and item decoration attributes of the recycler view. And finally, we set the adapter object into our recycler view. Let's run the app. As you can see, when I select an item in the recycler view, its color changes to gray. And as I select some other item, the previous item gets unselected. But at a time only one item gets selected in this recycler view. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view single item selection in Java Android. Thanks for watching.